Hello everyone and welcome to the video I'm going to do on Shadow Priest on the beta. Um, I'm going to be going through the highest amount I can get my stacks for my void form. Currently everyone on the beta has a fixed haste gap so it can't really go above 20. Currently I've got 14 but obviously when I go into void form I'm going to go above that. So I'm going to try and see how high I can get my haste. Uh, the talents I'm taking for this to try and get as much um, insanity as possible are Shadowy Insight. I'm going to take it just so that um, there's a chance I get a free Mind Blast so I can just get that Insta 12 insanity. So this build isn't really good for DPS, it's just more the fact that we want to try and keep up as much insanity as possible. So that's why I'm taking Shadowy Insight. Next is Mania, it doesn't really matter what you take to be honest. Next is Dark Void, just so that we can instantly get um, that 30 insanity. Twist of Fate's obviously good in regular, you know, damage, but this just instantly gives me 30 insanity, which is just really, really good. Uh, let me just move away from this, because it's fucking loud, dude! And then we have... Next one doesn't really matter, it just it's just whatever you want to take for CC, but next is Shadow Crash, just so I can instantly get that 20 insanity. So I can, you know, build towards it and not go out of Void Form. Next is Mindbender. You want to take Mindbender due to the fact that I'm trying to get... Lingering Insanity is good, but I'm trying to get as much haste into one um, into one Void Form as possible. So I'm hopefully going to try and reach 60, 50. See how high we can get. So when I'm losing a lot of Insanity, I'm going to use Mindbender. So that it just gives me loads, loads more Insanity. And obviously for the last one, I'm going to be taking Surrender to Madness. Just so that my Insanity generation is just 100% more. And it means I can go to Void Form longer and have much more haste. So I'm going to pop, um, first off I'm just going to dot everything, just make sure I'm getting my instant haste, but I'm just going to save Surrender for when I'm really into the deep part of Void Form, because if I use all my cooldowns at the start, it just means that um, I'm wasting them, because at the start you can pretty much chill, and um, that was stupid of me, shouldn't have d dispersed, but yeah, so now I'm just going to go into Void Form and just start off. So first off, you just want to start using Void Bolt on cooldown. That's the main thing, using Void Bolt on cooldown. I'm just going to reapply Vampiric. Just using Void Bolt on the cooldown and Mind Flame in between. I'm just going to start using my other abilities as well. I've got to try and make sure I use Shadow Crash and um, Dark Void as much as possible because they give me really high um, insanity. So I'm just going to quickly go out of this one as well so I can get my Disperse back up. Because if you don't know, Disperse um, is drops your insanity all the time. So, for example, if I'm on about 30 stacks, I'll just pop Disperse, so I can wait for Shadow Crash and Dark Void to come off cooldown. Then as soon as I come out of my Void Form, I just pop these two, and I've already got a lot of Insanity. So if now we just start off a Mind Blast, use my Shadow Crash, use my Dark Void so he gets dotted, dotted, use Vampiric, and just start dotting. Now I use my Void Eruption and go into Void Form. Just going to use my Void Bolt instantly, and now I'm going to start using Surrender, just so that my Insanity-based abilities are just, you know, giving me more Insanity. Just going to use Shadow Crash, just on cooldown, so I get that Insanity up. When I start using Insanity rapidly, I'm going to use Mind Bender. I'm just going to start using it now. So currently it's 16 stacks, so this is just barely warming up. Just going to reapply Shadow Word Pain. Just going to do my Dark Void, so it gets loads of um, Void Form stacks. Just gonna use this, gonna use Shadow Crash. So just so I get that extra um, haste. And as you can see, I got 33. If I had Disperse back up, I wouldn't have been able to keep that at 33 and wait for my cooldowns. So now I'm just gonna try and wait for um, Disperse to come off cooldown. It comes off in 10 seconds. Hopefully I can get it before I'll Surrender ends. Use Shadow Crash, Void Eruption. As you can see with Surrender now, it doesn't kill you, but all it does now is. Um, all your insanity generating effects generate 100% more insanity and when it's over it deals 60% uh, 90% damage to me but I can't generate insanity any longer so I'm just going to quickly wait for this to come off cooldown so that I can use uh, surrender again but yeah there's one spell which they aren't using which is coming soon I'm not sure what this will be it'll probably be another um, insanity usage I think this might be void torrent because the only thing you've got now is Dispersion, which stops it 100%, whereas Void Torrent before stopped it for 100% of the time, which is obviously really good. 
But if you're doing like normal rotation, you want to take lingering insanity just so that when you come out of void form, you've got so much more haste. But yeah, I'll just quickly show you if you're normal rotation, you don't have surrender. What you want to be using your disperse at? You want to be kind of, as you can see there, I got to 33. With disperse, I probably could have got up to 40, 45. But just usually, if you're using disperse, you want to try and use it at 20 stacks. Because now it's out of legion, and we're not as geared as we were. 20 stacks is pretty, pretty good going at the current state. So you just want to use your um, disperse at, at 40. So as you can see now, I'm just going to use my void form, starting to gain stacks. Losing insanity every second. So I'm going to use Dark Void. Instant Mind Blast. Reapply my dots. Make sure they're redotted. Vampiric. Mind Blast. Use Shadow Crash after this. Use Void Bolt. Going to use Disperse. I think I just. Oh, that was retarded. That was a retarded one by me because I did it without stacks. But obviously, you want to do it when you have stacks. But that's it for how high I can currently get the Void Form. Obviously, with more gear, it will change when the haste cap goes up. But currently I'm maximizing the amount of haste with the food and gems, stuff like that. But obviously with more gear we'll get more stacks. But currently, as it is on the beta, we can get to around about 40, 45. Mushi Sora I got was 33, but obviously with that disperse you're going to get much, much more. But yeah, that's it for the video. I'm bringing out more videos in the future, so look out for that. And see you in the next one.